Tonight on Furniture Film Classic, Plaster of Paris Island, the United States Upholsters Recruitment Depot. The Corps doesn't want blind stitchers. They want mean, lean stapling machines. This is my staple gun. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. 78 crickets, pile. Why is your toolbox unlocked? Sir, I don't know, sir! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's an unlocked toolbox. Did you know that? Sir, yes, sir! Well, let's take a look inside. Jump in, you hot to fat pile! What the heck is this? Sir, it's a three-foot salami, sir! And where's it from? Sir, Genoa, sir! Full metal tax strip. Hi, welcome to Furniture to Go. I'm Ed Feldman. Joe couldn't be with us today because he's up in the attic and I sent him up there for some equipment. Hark, I think Ugh. I hear him now. I needed some more horse hair. Horse hair? For later. Contrived hey, joke hey. number Hey, welcome to the show. He's here. I'm here. And here's our shade talking about yes, bulbous. Okay, and go get the sandwich. Remember? Yeah, right. But later we'll watch paint dry. All America loves it. Remember last time, Tonto went to town and he got the snot beat out of him. Tonto makes sound of owl at window. And we did the seat, which is lovely, That's and this part. part of the wraparound. And now the we're skirt. going to do yes. Now we're going to do the inside arm. Right. This is the inside Although arm. If you were sitting here and leaning back, this would be a back. No, because this is the arm because you would recline this way and the back but would be there. If you straddled this way right you would have no back why don't you straddle right now but this would be a back if you're sitting against it this way and they bicker endlessly and good natured in terms life so what we're going to do is put the inside whatever this is the, the this thing this marshmallow fluff thing and we've cut the pattern as always to mimic the old pattern of the old inside appendage we've got release cuts here and here there, and there see that little strip that's a cod's piece. No, <laughs> no, that's to go around. It's a very the, funny word, cod's this, piece. This side of the board that holds up the back, so we have tension pulling the fabric that way, as well as this tail pulling it this way. The other thing you must know is that we picked out uh, an element of the pattern so as to play out along here and make it look as if it's Comet uh, Feinberg uh, Shoemaker that's going to slam, slam into, into Mercury. Right. Now, let's lay it across the top and see what happens. Oh. oh, it's good. It's lunch. It looks like a drape. Now start shoving it down in that little thing, and I'll tell you when I got it. I got it. You got it? Just leave it in there. You don't have to. I got it. I got it. I ain't, ain't got, got it. it. Okay, now we pull this over, and as always, we define the shape, define. the curve you want to get. First, you must address the back. Hello, back. And they say I don't feed. Put one staple oh, right... Oh, you feed. Right in there. Well, Just to hold it. Just to hold it. There we go. Now we've got this comet just coming A across this back. And now we pull the center. Remember, top pull, tack. Bottom pull, tack. Center, tack. Now, now I'll pull now this. There. Look, see? Don't worry. Here's where the pleats come. <laughs> Staple down in Staple. there? Staple. I think so. You don't want to pull too tight, because then you get that, and that's a not a good. You want a good and a nice. Not a bad and a wrong. No because then we'll never discuss. We'll just never talk about the advice. We'll never discuss talking. We'll just never talk. We'll never. 
kelp. You know what would be good here? What? A fish. A light switch. <laughs> <laughs> or the remote control. A little pocket. This, now it's time for pleats. I would like to fold my pleats downward, unlike a cummerbund, which you want the pleats upward, for theater tickets. <laughs> See, I remember all those uh, Playboy advice columns. <laughs> which way do the pleats on a cummerbund go? I just also, my girlfriend will never... I just remembered a joke, Paige. Now, don't worry about that, because when you pull this, is this all coming out when I pull this? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Always have a sarcastic friend with you. But it's not, you know. It's, it's a big wrinkle in here, like a hippo's thigh. Big wrinkle, wrinkle <laughs> Look, skin. see, when you pull this, watch this. Watch when I pull, like magic, like Jerry Mahoney. Goes away. Oh, more like knucklehead Smith. Watch mm. this. Look at the magic of the pleating action. Does it look good? Because I here. can't see. And then I pull this one down like this. And then it's, it's almost... It's good for hiding things. It's almost... You, you want to stop playing? Well, I'm... Don't touch that. You're going to make it bigger. My mother always used to say that. What about a, a sore? <laughs> the scab? <laughs> no, it was usually like a hole in the chenille bedspread. And then I'll make one more pleat here. She told me they were burlap. <laughs> the burlap bed spread? Yeah, for pain. Pain and guilt. <laughs> yeah, Brad Dorff. Okay. And now, yeah. as in always, as in life, you must sight up your roll. Before your, you eat it. Your ester. Now, we've done the inside arm, and it's smooth and lovely, that, like the cheek and of now, Veronica Lake. And now, I'm going to do the outside, I mean the inside back, but I'm using this fabric. Oh, you crazy man. I'm going to show you a new technique with some glue and some big screws yeah. and a hatchet. It'll be marvelous. You won't believe it. Roy Underhill taught him this. But you know, we're really not going to do that, because that's uh, James Garner's vest from Maverick. They made me an upholsterer. <laughs> take it off we're going to be using the same fabric over here in the same manner as we've as we've done here but you don't want to see it because you've sent us letters to that yeah. effect so next time next we're going to be doing the outside arm and back crafts and company weekdays at 12 and 3 on tlc it's their turf it's their world it's their game. And when we don't play by their rules, the results can be deadly. From the creator of the award-winning television series Wild America comes a home video unlike anything you've ever seen. These are nature's dangerous encounters, captured in one of the most astonishing wildlife films ever made, and available now for the first time as a special one-hour home video. Dangerous Encounters brings you breathtaking footage of real-life conflicts. As civilization brings us closer to America's wildest areas, our encounters with nature's untamed creatures are increasing, and we often underestimate their power with disastrous consequences. Dangerous Encounters is filmed and narrated by Marty Stauffer, creator of the popular TV series Wild America. For 25 years, Marty has brought America's rich natural heritage to the screen as no one else can. Now, he brings these incredible encounters right into your home. If you crave excitement, if you're captivated by nature's untamed creatures, this film is for you. Satisfaction guaranteed. Call this toll-free number now and use your credit card to get Dangerous Encounters for just $19.95. This original production is not available in stores. Order now, and you'll also receive Watching Wildlife absolutely free. Join Marty Stauffer as he shows you how to view nature's creatures in their natural habitats safely. That's right. Both of these extraordinary programs are yours for just $19.95. So call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-896-6400. That's 1-800-896-6400. Or send your check or money order to Dangerous Encounters, P.O. Box 997, Valencia, California, 91380. Call 1-800-896-6400 right now. TLC is low-tech. Mmm, fruit force. TLC is high-tech. Mmm, take me to cyberspace. 
Either way, we'll help you get things done. Make your life a little bit better. TV can do all that. Sure, when the advice is this clear and the hosts know their stuff. Dean and Joanne do on home time. And for the digitally inclined, we'll rate the best software, test the top hardware in a fast-paced guide to the technology that's changing the world. The Computer Man. Tuesday, beginning at 10 on TLC. Now we'll do the inside, the outside. Wait back. a minute, wait a minute. What? Yeah, you can't see Doesn't through show. it. Fine, okay. fine. He'll never know. He won't know the difference. He'll never know the okay. difference. Okay, what are we doing now? First, I take the big gun. And then I you put... Want... Go what? ahead, go ahead. I put go ahead. one staple like this. Tax strip. And then this tax strip has seen better days. It sure has. It's... It'll still work, though, even though it's a little crimped. More crimped. So, outside backs, just like all the other... Why is this outside back different from all other outside backs? Because it has our autographs on it right now. Well, one thing, there's only going to be one metal tack strip. It's going to be pulled around the side, making it actually oh, an you outside mean you're, arm. You're going to sweep this around? I'm sweeping. Boy, and they say upholstery is not exciting, let me tell you. I think so, especially when you put the music behind it. You wipe out everything I say, then it gets really good. Go. Oh, pull it down. That's it. Now, Let's ordinarily, go. I'd flip it up and put a tack underneath, but remember, this wraparound is going to hide hey, the bottom. What do we do here? Don't worry. Because it's not all the way at the end. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Nobody knows. Oh, okay. So you just pull this, and I'm going to put a staple right in here because the wraparound fabric is going to cover that. So that'll pull that, then we'll pull this out. Yes, yeah, so we'll pull okay. this out, and the first thing I do is I pull this around. You're and I'll pushing just, me out of the shot here. I'm sorry, you want to recline? Yeah. And then, here, why don't you staple some? Give me. You want it to be pulled down? Yeah, pull. That's good. That's also nice. Again, Again nice. Good, good more, good. and nice, and the good, and the nice. Very uh, nice. There we go. Now, for this end, the tack strip, please. See? Extendable tack strip. Always. Aluminium. Spelled backwards, Mooney Moolah. Aluminium. No, Mooney Moolah uh -huh. spelled backwards. That was the first Rough and Ready cartoon. So. This only goes down so far. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, it really only has to go down just to clear the top of the wraparound. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm spiking through with the tack strip so when I wind around, everything looks beautiful. Come on, this is just for the new viewers. The old people are saying, <gasps> Beer that Mildred. Again. That again. All right, with the last spike through, now we wind it around so we get the lovely knife edge. And i uh, looking the mallet. I think we have absence of mallet here. Okay. <sighs> Uh -huh. No, come on, with mallet towards none. All right, I got the rubber mallet. Well, you know, it's not exactly the rubber mallet. Well, it's a wooden, but it's got a rubber glove But, you on know, it. we get fresh cream every morning from this. Remember, don't bang it all the way first, especially if you're afraid you that your to. mallet is going to hurt your delicate, extremely expensive fabric. Right here. Now you can give it everything you got. If I did that, they'd take us right off the air. Can I do that? Okay. Just give... I just got like a little aggression in there. Oh, you ruined it. Did I ruin it? Did you ruin it? I didn't ruin it. Right there. Ruin it. Can you figure out the cost of a long-distance call? We haven't studied that yet. What, do I look like, a mathematician? You don't need to be a math whiz to save with Sprint Sense. It's the simplest long-distance calling plan yet. Just 10 cents a minute, every evening, every night, and all weekend long. That's when I make all my long-distance calls. Call now for Sprint Sense, and you'll also get 10% cash back after a full year. 10 cents a minute and cash back? Even on calls to Hawaii? Doesn't matter how far away. It's still 10 cents a minute. Anywhere in the whole country? What about Canada? Even Canada. Just 10 cents a minute all weekend long. Amazing how far a dime will go. And Sprint Sense couldn't be simpler. You'll pay just 10 cents a minute on state-to-state -state calls forever. I'll buy that. And remember, if you call now, you'll get 10% cash back. Sprint will even switch you for free. So let's review. 
10% cash back. It's coast to coast. 10 cents a minute. Forever. And forever. Call 1-800-913-9724. They claimed it was a weather balloon, but the people who were there tell a different story. Now, in an exclusive investigation, get to the bottom of one of the strangest stories ever told. Roswell, Science Frontiers, Wednesday at 10 on TLC. What could be more beautiful than something you made yourself on Craftsman Company? Then, you'll be ready to get things done with homebodies and leading the glamorous life on Simply Style. Up next on TLC. It set the standard in do-it-yourself books. But now... We've made the best even better. Introducing the all-new Home Repair and Improvement Series from Time Life Books. With new color illustrations, step-by-step -step instructions, and a new spiral binding so books lay flat, it's never been easier to save money and create the home you've always wanted. You'll learn how to build a deck your family will enjoy for years. The tricks of the trade to install a new patio. Call now to examine decks, porches, and patios free for 15 days. Keep it for the special low TV price of just $1.99. Use your credit card and get this Stanley tape measure absolutely free. Other volumes will follow. Keep only those you want. The new home repair and improvement series from Time Life Books. We've made the best even better. Call 1-800-795-5588 now to get decks, porches, and patios for just $1.99. That's 1-800-795-5588. He's got enough mustache. That's Patty Hearst's old boyfriend. Remember with the mustache? Look, you don't like the eyes? No, I don't like the eyes. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay, all right, okay. There you we see go. how it changes now automatically? I'm hip. And more. Okay. You left out some of the chins, I understand. We did the wraparound skirt back over the outside arm because we peeled it back to tack the outside arm or back panel, as you wish, all the way down. And as you remember, mm -hmm. does anybody remember laughter? I'm making you happy, Ed Feldman. <laughs> Go back with the pro from 1973. <laughs> We're going you to know, put he wears one platform shoes, too. He's only three feet tall. <laughs> did you know that? Him and his friend, uh -huh. Roy Underhill, who can build a house with a rock. So now we'll put the... Again with the tack strip. The penultimate cardboard tack strip all the way to the top. I want this very close to the top. Why? Because I want to hide all this stuff. And I'm going to put this all the way up there. All the way up there. All the way up there. Up there. Up in there. Oh, boy. It's a mess. Yeah. Felt I'll say. I like it a mess. If you could see into my brain, you could see Clutter. how very bored I am because I have no life. That rhymes with another word. <laughs> Chrissy, bring me the big knife! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Made you laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tragedy in my life always makes me laugh. Comedy, tragedy. <laughs> Demusement. Shock. Something stuck in the nose. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hey, hey. That Which was, one was real? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now we have to drop the the whole thing down. The curtain. And you have to lift. Well, I got to pull this forward. Put one hand there. Let me pull this forward. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just enjoying your strength. Come on. Okay, okay. One under here. Not at the nostril. There you go. Because we need one to hold it while we do the tack strips. Give to me, render oh. unto Feldman that which is Feldman's. You know what? What? You know, we found out that this was from France. Yeah. Originally, true. because we found in it, this is Marcel Marceau's hair. Nice. Yeah. That's a bon mot. <laughs> yeah, bon which, mot, which means a good mo. Right. <laughs> the bon mo. Or the satisfied mo. Oh. There we are. There we are. You know, mo always got beat up, or always gave the lick, and he always got abused. But, event, but occasionally? But sometimes he was really satisfied. Usually and, before a plate of food. Uh-huh. And he'd he would, say... He'd say, ah, there, there we are. are. There we are. <laughs> or... Like, right before the clam would attack Curly. Now I'm going to put in the 
tack strip down the side. Remember, this is being the outside back. Oh, yeah. We have called it the outside back for our own. Which is a lot different than the outside arm. Oh, it's so different. In that it's like a little bigger. There's a B in it. Um, no, the difference is... Well, the, the one has a tic-tac-toe underneath. The other has a picture of you. No. The outside arm only has one metal tack strip. The outside back has duh. Now, with the last tack strip, you do like a hey. Yeah. Well, you're on the second floor. You're going to tug and bang at the same time? I often do. Yeah. My case comes up Tuesday. Tug. Tug and Patty. <laughs> I'm, I'm eyeing it up. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> He's the super I'm, I'm eyeing down. I should be smoking a cigarette, but I don't do that anymore. Hey, you know, you've got blood on your hand there. Oh, my God. The red color's coming out. I'm going to put a billet in you in a minute. I'll hit you with an egg. Go ahead, keep pointing. What? I'll come around this side so my fans can be, see me sweat head on. Oh, now it's, now it's beautiful. Now it's beautiful. Now I just need the staple gun. What about up here? Pardon my talk. What? What about that? Oh, that's a beautiful bevel. Don't worry about that. Byzantine arch bevel block. <laughs> Look, blood. And then I'll just put a row of staples underneath here. There you go. Bang that up like that. It's almost a show. Now all that's needed is a cane brick. They're so excited. And now for those of you who can't get enough of wood. We are, no, who, who need their fix of wood. Yes. We are going to show you something that we did while we were outside in the lovely sun. Road trip. Oh, we're out of the shop. Oh, out of that hot stinking shop into the hot stinking sun. And look, what's behind us? We got some doors here, right? Nice doors. They're very nice doors. In fact, I did these doors about nine years ago. But we're not going to strip them and refinish them, but we are going to recoat them using the same kind of varnish that I put on those nine years ago. You got paid then? Oh, yeah. Then not I got this time. Well, now I have a TV show. <laughs> oh, look at him up there. He's cleaning all the dust out of the corners. And it's fun, too. Well, he's using an old paintbrush. You don't put that in the varnish can afterwards. You want to get as much dust as you can off of the surface. Oh, that's nice. That's enough for this side. Now you want to roughen up the surface. So give it a good sanding. You'll ensure that the uh, varnish is going to stick by doing this sanding and giving the surface a tooth. <laughs> You want to wash with some paint thinner, paper towel. This will get all the dirt and dust off. Also remove the sanding dust. See that? Ooh. See the pretty color come up? That's what the varnish, the new varnish is going to make the doors look like. So we run into a sticker from the alarm company that's on the door, and this will peel off very easily. Not like some stickers. Yeah. You know what that means? This company made a lot of money because they were able to make good stickers for themselves. Right, and now it'll surprise the burglars but when they there's, come in. There's gonna you be don't want to warn them. There's going to be a residue, a sticky residue, which will come off easily with the paint thinner. It's the same paint thinner we've been cleaning everything else with. See, these doors right. aren't big enough for both of us to work at the same time. It removes it. But, you know, you're going to sand this panel. That's all you have to do, really. You don't yeah. have to go crazy with the sanding because the varnish is still good on here. The marine varnishes, they have uh, agents in them that are all UV blockers. They block the sun's rays, and they remain, uh, it allows the door or the finish to remain pliable. So in the winter and the summer, when the door contracts and expands, the varnish moves with it. That's why marine varnishes are great. He understands that, I don't. Something about sunglasses, I know. So well, now we'll wash the rest of the door off. Yeah, remember the sanding is just a light sanding. You're not taking anything off. You're just preparing the, uh, the surface, making it a little itchy for the scratchiness. Now because the rest of the door is all been sanded, all we gotta do is wait for this to dry, and then we'll be ready to recoat. So 
so about drying times, 24 hours to be safe. Certainly, if you do it one day and it's not too humid, it'll dry by the next day. You know, and a lot of people, they're really afraid of varnishing because they think there's some trick to it, or you got to be neat, or it's hard, or it runs. Just get the varnish on and then go back and then neaten it up just by pulling or pulling the varnish away. Oh, uh, he's panning down the beautiful walnut doors uh, now. The loveliness of the doors and the loveliness of us. This didn't take us long, an hour, an hour. An hour and a half, yeah. I think. And remember, if you really want to take good care of exterior doors like this, you should do this once a year. That's right. A lot of people think that, you know, if you put a lot of coats of varnish on, it's going to protect the door even more. What it does, it just makes it more susceptible to damage. So if you clean the doors, if the doors are new, say, two coats should be enough. One cut coat, 50-50, paint thinner, varnish, and then a full-strength coat should be more than enough. Yeah, and besides, it gives you something to do until you die. And the cleanup on your clothes and everything, the paint thinner, just well, like we used to get on your clothes. clothes. Wear old clothes or wear new clothes and make them old in a second. Oh, <laughs> a fine old thing. We're back. And it's finished. We did a lot of upholstery. And a little bit of wood outside. For, the, for those of you who need your wood. And we changed clothes twice. Mm -hmm. So here's the before. Shays. And the after. Ah! No, that's not the real after. We fooled you. <laughs> it is the real after. Oh, yeah. So, look, I'm making a tree. Oh, it's great. Isn't it that nice? That happened to me last night, but you know... Isn't it nice? I'm Ed Feldman. And who are you? I'm Joe Lorario. And as always... Be nice to your, to your furniture. furniture. Next on TLC, use your creativity to make fun, useful things for around the house. Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company shows you how. Then stay with us for Homebody. Spotlighting easy home projects.